Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So I'm recording this. Oh, what time is it, Boise time? About six and after six. Day two of the two day. Mastermind here is part of the Inner Circle, Russ Brunson's Inner Circle in Boise. And um, like, man, like amazing first day. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Like the, the group of entrepreneurs that are here, the, the um, what's the word I can say? I want to say the quality of the people, but that sounds, that sounds like really snotty. The eth- authenticity? real, real, sincere, good fucking people that are here. Now, many people, so each of the people that are here that are part of the inner circle, I am not, but I'm here as Ed's guest, as his wife, clearly, um, but my husband, it is. So they each have 22 minutes to present. It's a big group. So it's like full day yesterday, full day today. And the purpose is to kind of to share what's happening. People get to know you within the group uh, to give some value to the group. And then also to ask for help and, uh, and or, you know, feedback. So, you know, those people that are hitting the stage that are, you know, those multiple seven-figure business, $3 million, $40 million, it's very easy for me to, and that was me kind of going in, right? Was like, who the fuck am I to be like going to this? Like, I'm just kind of hanging from the sidelines, just like, I'm happy to be here. But like, what do I have to contribute? What, I mean, I'm not presenting, because again, I'm not in the inner circle, but I know I definitely had that conversation with Ed of just like, fuck, dude, like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be the, the most successful person in the room, because you can't learn from that place, right? I want to be around people who are where I want to move towards in my business. And, um, but again, the, the whole like, who am I syndrome, that's what we'll call this, who am I syndrome? And after, after the first, definitely after the first day, but Ed and I had the conversation, I think, maybe even just a couple sessions in. So the way that it works is person will present, they got 22 minutes, the clock is ticking, and then one set goes off, then we, um, we grab someone that we haven't met before, we do a walk and talk with them, and we share what's been our biggest takeaway from that person's presentation and so after a couple of those I mean Ed's kind of took me aside and said like what do you think so far and stuff and I was like you know what here's what I realized I who am I to contribute I said the only difference between some of these people hitting the stage with multi-million dollar businesses and me is simply just time or tools or I said you know what I have because from the first one I was like I'm not going to raise my hand to give feedback and stuff and it's been a lot of conversations about podcasting so I have a lot to share about that obviously I've been podcasting for almost four years now and uh yeah after the first couple I was like you know what I realized that I actually do have a lot of value to contribute who am I I'm, I, I'm somebody that knows some things I'm somebody that also senses a whole lot it was interesting one of the speakers who went up and she's, you know, awesome, awesome woman. And the, the way was she was kind of presenting like the numbers and stuff, like it was all really cool stuff. It was great. And then she started to like go to a place where she got kind of emotional. Like she wants to move towards something different. And one of the other people in her circle just kind of really call her out on it. And, you know, she kind of broke down a bit and cried and we're talking to her later. And I was like, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. It was when I was in chiropractic, you know, when I felt like I'm, I'm being called to do something outside of this, something bigger, and it scares me, and I don't know what it is, and who am I to go do this? It's just like having not a clue. It's like, it's like the world that you know to be true no longer exists, or you can feel it starting to kind of like crumble down, and you don't know what the fuck to do with it, and you want to like desperately cling to what you know, because it's what you know. It feels comfortable there because you know it. And you can be very good in that place where you're comfortable in what you know. 
my husband Ed and I could have kept cranking with the practice, even though he was no longer to be in it because of Crohn's disease. I could have just like buckled down. This is what I went to school for eight years of my fucking life. $150,000 in education. No plans of ever being like, oh, I'll try this chiropractic thing for a while. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. But yet, after about, let me see, probably eight years in a practice, I could start to feel this inside of me. So, you know, we kind of saw her in the bathroom at one of the breaks. I just said, I know what this feels like. I don't know your experience. I know what that feels like. And I, I honor you for, like, for sharing that. And uh, it's scary because you don't know what it is. But yet you can't deny that it's there. And if you continue to squash that inside of you or just do what you know and what you can still do well. My husband's kind of in this place right now too. With his business that he does very well in. He's really fucking good at it. But yet he also has another business with Men of Iron, which is to take men through an experience for them to really understand how to be men. Kind of a lot of what I learned from Wake Up Warrior, which Ed obviously did because he went through, he actually started in Wake Up Warrior three years ago, is now a certified warrior trainer. But even before he just finished all his requirements, oh gosh, when this, about a week and a half ago, um, he started leading live events. He started a movement called Men of Iron and Started with a free Facebook group very quickly over six months. He's run three live events. He's got men that are continuing through almost all of them into continuing 90 day challenges and just things are just shifting for them in their marriages and as fathers and with their health. Like he's so fulfilled by it. So he's, he's in this place where he's got these two businesses. He's really good at one and people know him for one. And yet he's, He's feeling this calling and this pull more towards men of iron, and it's a hard place to be in. And that's exactly what this person up on stage, I, you know. You know what it's like when you hear people go through experiences where, like, I don't have to have gone through the exact same experience, but you can empathize, right? Because you know what that was like when you went through that. This is why, two sister, I can speak so boldly and in your face about things because. I've been through so much of what you've been through. You're not fucking alone in this. And so this feeling that I had of like, who am I? Very quickly after the first speaker, two, three, I was like, who am I to contribute and add value? Who am I not to? Why the fuck would I hold back on things that I feel that could provide value for another, another person, another human being? Not, not to give feedback to kind of like posture and look a certain way. Because I didn't give, it's a pretty big group. I didn't give feedback every single time. But if there's something that I did feel was valuable, then I'm, I'm going to share that. So who am I to share it? Fucking awesome. And I'm going to have you consider that for yourself too, sister. That there's a lot of things that you were holding back from sharing in your life. Because you were thinking, who am I? to do this? Who am I to say that? Who am I to want this? There's so many of you that just don't even go further because you go, I should not want what I want because I should just be happy where I am. I should be grateful. How does that go? I shouldn't want for not. I don't even know how the fuck that goes. It's a little bit more of a thing in some religions to kind of have this humility which basically means, like, you shouldn't want anything more than what you have. Which I don't really understand it because I feel that our life is about continually striving for more. And it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make you less grateful for what you have. It just makes you appreciate this life and wanting to push and always be better and to be more. So here's your more tip for today, sister. Where are you in your life right now saying, who am I to do this, to want that thing, to to say these things, to have these thoughts, like, who am I? So open up your journal at the top of the page, write, who am I? 
and start writing. What is that thing? It could be something with, with a business. It could be something with what you want within your marriage. It could be how you want to show up as a parent. I know for me, like when I think back to, oh gosh, say like about three years ago, and uh, no, let's say yeah, close. Let's let's say two, uh, two and a half, two and a half, because I had I was about six months into this podcast, uh, maybe four months. I just started coaching, a network marketing business. I was beginning to really thrive, and uh, and then I was also running the practice. I was still in chiropractic practice running my face off and yet I was running myself into the ground and I didn't think I could have business the way I want to do business and then also have time with my kids and who am I to want those things and I'll still be like that I'm like all right my work day is now ended it's two o'clock and within the time to drop off my son by like say 8 45 I then may have other personal appointments or I'm training or I'm at the gym or I'm in the pool. And so like literally sister, my work days, like the chunk of time, could be three hours, two and a half, maybe four. Like it's not a lot of time. I was like, who am I to be able to like, want to really grow this movement and to explode this as a business and really reach more women because you know what I want is to be there for my kids before school daycare after school daycare like that's what I want what I want is to be able to invest in my health the way that I want it I trade at the gym I box I'm in the pool now I swim I walk my dogs every day in the morning like who am I to compete in a boxing tournament which, holy shit, fingers crossed, three times a charm. <laughs> My first tournament was supposed to be October 2016. It did not happen. There was no opponent for me. My next one was supposed to be February of this year, 2018. I re injured a, a torn hamstring. Could barely walk, could not compete. <sighs> so here we go, June. At the age of 49, who am I to get in the ring and go into a boxing tournament? And the answer is really quite simple, sister. Who the fuck are you not to be? So what is that thing? And with this more tip for that's holding you back, here's the second piece. What is it costing you to hold back on this? To not execute? To not pull the trigger? How many more analogies do I have to give you on taking? To not take action? What's it costing you? I can tell you what it cost me emotionally. I felt like I was just sinking further and further into not me. I felt like I was losing myself. I was forgetting who I was. And the feeling that I feel now for taking that who am I, those thoughts, those beliefs, those limiting mindset that I had about it, has changed everything. It's changed everything. So there you go, sister. More tips. So before we finish up, three things today. Number one, if you are not already inside the sisterhood, maybe you are thinking, who am I to do this? Because I often describe it being a part of powerful women. Some of you might go, well, I'm not powerful. Listen, if you want to create what you want within your life, you need to be around women who are like you. This is a virtual group run through a private Facebook group. There's the geese honking in the background as I walk along the Boise River here. So part of women who are like you to have that accountability, to have an action plan. And I do live weekly trainings as well as daily sister tips for you to really know how to really like create a life of more. And so it's over at drkarenosborn.com slash sisterhood. And you will sign up for the first seven days for a dollar. So no reason for you not to be in this group. So sisterhood, number two, I want you to make sure to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. A five-star review. There are so many women that are finding the podcast. Right now, this podcast gets anywhere from 
uh, say like 2,600, 2,700 lessons a day to 5,000 plus. Amazing, like just growing huge right now at about two and a half years in, but yet there's still so many women that I would love to reach. And I need your help, sister. Your three minutes, two minutes leave a review could be the game changer for a woman that connects with your words and said, I'll kind of give this a listen. So subscribe so you get every single podcast delivered to your phone five days a week, Monday to Friday, and also leave a review to help me connect with more women. And number three, make sure to subscribe to one one to more newsletter. I'm going to send you the more for action guide teaches you how to start your day in power. One of those including movement, which is why I'm walking right now outside recording this podcast and also a video training on what I do each day, what I teach my clients each day. In addition, I'm going to send you two very, very powerful videos on how to remember who you are, how to drop your stories and how to create new ones that I had only inside of exclusive private Facebook group. So I'm going to send you both of those when you subscribe to the newsletter. So that's over at drkarenosburn.com slash action guide. So I will to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.